Alright, hey guys, so this week's topic is Partner Appreciation Week. Uh, sorry that I have been gone, but I actually ended up getting a parasite from unwashed food. And I had to take off last week, so I wasn't able to make my video because of that reason. But I'm feeling better now, and all is well. <clears throat> and don't mind the awkward haircut either because I'm growing it out so the sides and the top don't match and it just looks like shit. So, <clears throat> Partner Appreciation Week, I guess, is just to appreciate your partner if you have one and um, if you didn't have one, in it, for instance, you would just talk about what type of partner you want or are interested in. I do have a partner right now, um, her name is Katie Davis, uh, and she's a wonderful girl, um, we've dated before in the past, um, a few times actually, and, uh, she's definitely my longest relationship actually right now, um, that I've ever had in my entire life, uh, we've dated all together about four or five years now. Um, we, we went through some rough spots, um, like any couple, I guess, and we took some breaks because it just needed to be done and we felt like, you know, we needed to see other people or try to see other people and it just didn't work out and we ended up coming back together and, you know, they say that when you find that one person um, it really means a lot to you, you do whatever you have to to keep them and to stay with them and, you know, I, I've decided that I've found my person, you know, not a soulmate, just, I, be I believe in a soulmate, but I mean, I found that person that I want to stay with and, you know, it's just, it's hard to explain how I feel about her in words because I don't think words can match up to how I feel. Um, I've tried dating a lot of different people in my life. I've had a lot of different girlfriends. Um, I've been, I've been, uh, I guess in a bunch of different situations and Eventually I realized, you know, who and what made the most sense in my mind, and basically, you know, she made sense, um, we made sense, we didn't, we fit together, we don't fight, we're, we're really good together. Um, so yeah, I mean, I know that it's really hard to find somebody who will love you for you. I have went through millions of different people to see if I can find that person. And in the end, sometimes it might be the person closest to you that you haven't told how you feel. You haven't told them what you feel like. And in the end, if you did, they might feel the same. It just comes down to the fact that you can't search for love in all corners of the universe. Sometimes you have to search the ones that you've already got. And then when that fails, then you can go looking all over the universe. I don't really have <laughs> anything else really to say. I mean, I could keep talking about her, but I mean, you guys really don't want to hear me blab about mushy gushy stuff. I'm sure, um, I can talk about relationships in general, um, partners that I've had, um, I've had some good times and some bad times with people, but I've, I've always wanted to look for somebody who will accept me for me, for who I am, for my faults, my weaknesses, for my good and for my bad for my ugly and even uglier sides. And, you know, we all look for that one person that, that 
will accept us for who we are and what we've done, and the past doesn't matter. In the long run, it took me a long time to find that person, and I finally found her, but just to expect love to find you sometimes, looking for it yourself, you may not find it. And sometimes we get wrapped up in human, normal human lives. We get wrapped up in the fact that I need somebody. I can't be alone. I don't like to be alone. I don't like sleeping alone, you know. Nothing is okay being alone. I hate being alone. I hate being single. And we get wrapped up in that little fish bubble of life that makes it hard. And in the end, the person who matters most is the person who's going to love you for you, not the person who just keeps you from being alone, that keeps you company at night, that keeps you warm when you're cold, you know. Don't look for that person temporarily. Look for a person permanently. It just makes more sense that way. Um, and as a partner, make sure that they really do love you for you. Not that they just say they do and they really don't. I've had a few people that say, well, I accept you, you're a man in my eyes and you'll always be a man. And then when it comes down to it and, um, you know, I, the truth spilled out, they really didn't. They didn't consider me a man. They didn't consider me equal. And that's my biggest fear, not being equal, not being equal to the boyfriends of their past, not being equal to any boy ever. Um, I know that that's a lot of trans guys' fears, you know, being equivalent and not being equivalent and being good enough and not being good enough, but partner-wise, just look for somebody who's going to be there who's going to accept you, and who's going to love you. Even through all the bullshit that you go through. Because what matters is that they're going to be there. They're going to be there for you coming out to your family. They're going to be there to support you when you do. They're going to be there to go to your appointment your, to get your first shot of testosterone. They're going to be there to hold you if you cry because your emotions are all screwed up. They're, and they're gonna be there when you have dysphoric days and you just feel terrible about yourself and they'll make you feel better. Those are the people that you need in your life as a, as a transgender man, somebody who is in our position. Um, you need a partner who's going to be willing to try to understand, to try to love you and then eventually love you and accept you. It may not be easy for them at first because you may be their first transgender person. Um, but love comes in all different ways and all different sizes and all different people. And love doesn't come in the same way all the time. A lot of times I find that I just smack it like a wall. It, it hits me and I realize, you know, holy shit, I'm in love. And it's not, I don't fall, <laughs> I fall fast for people. And then when I fall fast, I still love them no matter what. And I don't really get over people that easily. Um, it takes time for me. I can't just like, I can't be friends with exes and stuff. It just makes things messy and complicated. And a lot of times I just can't do it. So in the end, Partner Appreciation Week for me would be that I appreciate my girlfriend and all that she does for me. She's an amazing girl and I could not ask for more. She's been the heart of my strength sometimes. And before she used to not call me Aiden and he. She'd call me Aiden but not he and now she calls me he. <laughs> and it just makes me feel better be 
because she does that, and she loves me for who I am, not what I got, and just it's love, and when it's love, you know it's love. That's all I can say. So, Partner Appreciation Week. <laughs> My girlfriend is amazing. <laughs> and that's all that I can really say. Though, what sucks is she lives in Kentucky right now because she's going to school at Murray State University in Kentucky. Murray, Kentucky. So, she's about six, six hours away from me. And... I live in Illinois, <laughs> so unfortunately uh, I have to drive down to see her, but it's not too bad to drive. It's about the same distance to go to my endo, my endocrinologist for my testosterone, so might as well drive two different directions. But yeah, I mean, we're going to make this relationship work, and we're going to make it work this time. I want to make it work this time, and so does she. We're tired of searching for other people, so, um, that's all I can really say. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stop talking now because it's going on almost 12 minutes long video. So, yeah, um, I'm Aiden, I'm the Thursday guy, um, I'm feeling better now, so I guess the next week topic I will be able to do and continue doing them. <laughs> so look for them. Alright, peace guys.